hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so uh, this video i want to share about this story there's this guy called uh, well the name he goes by killer boy imagine what a name okay and his uh, girlfriend is and uh, he says uh, she's an instagram influencer or something like that and this guy i actually don't know what this guy does and uh, let me read it to you guys how it shared on them um, so that you get an idea of what the story is so this is how the guardian shared it nigerian influencer oster killed by boyfriend killer boy okay he says uh, nigerian influencer augusta osedio better known as oster was killed by her boyfriend benjamin best also known as killer boy best confessed to the mother on his instagram page writing that he mistakenly stabbed or said you know, during an argument he said he then fled the scene and has been suicidal ever since these are his claims and then it says osadio's body was found at best apartment in lagos police are investigating the mother but no charges have been filed yet augusta was a popular social media influencer uh, with over hundred thousand followers on instagram she was known for her lavish lifestyle and her posts about fashion beauty and travel her death has shocked and saddened her fans and followers many have taken to social media to express their condolences and to condemn the violence against women but the interesting thing if i can use the word interesting is some of the posts that the guy himself you know he's been making on instagram he said i have failed myself listen that he's speaking about himself he just ended another person's life where he's busy talking about himself i have failed myself i have failed my mom i have failed my family oh lord i can't believe this i can't live with this guilt i'm going crazy nothing too kind again and i will say nothing but the truth all from the beginning to what brought us here he now said i should have left the toxic relationship but i uh, i didn't oh lord forgive me for my sins i wish i can go back uh, in time and undo oh really this is why i like to share things like this you and i are not in that position nobody will know sabi vessel nobody has monopoly of anger but we have to learn sometimes we can get angry that we would do something that something we wouldn't normally do on a normal day but when we hear the stories of those that went overboard i believe the thing for us that we should do is to learn from it and say god if i ever find myself what should i do to help me calm down me sometimes when my anger is too hot i'd rather go outside and go for a walk you'd be surprised that one hour walk can bring your head down or go to sleep go and lie down somewhere and sleep and wake up you will see that when you wake up you're thinking and everything but at that heat of the moment there are things you would do that may not i'm not even vouching for this guy if he's normally a nice guy or whatever i don't know but i'm saying i always say what can we take from it because now believe it or not if he has a chance he would undo what happened not necessarily for the lady but for himself because now he's on the run he's on the run so if he's on the run He's regretting his actions because now his life can never be the same again. So if he has a chance to go back, he will not do the same thing. You and I, we have not found ourselves there. Let's learn from things like this. Okay, he said, I'm not a bad person. I'm not an evil person. I'm not a criminal. I didn't commit murder. Nothing was intended. Oh Lord, I don't know how this happened. But I want to leave the, my remaining day on earth knowing i do the right thing and take accountability i would say nothing but the truth and come out clean and hope god grants me eternal peace and accept uh, me and then this one he said i got into an argument with my girlfriend um osta i tagged her which fight i mistakenly stabbed her mistakenly okay let me not even go to that or out to that and ran away out of fear and been suicidal since i won't intend to end my life now because i have lost the one thing meant to say the one i cherish so much i want to do the right thing and turn myself in uh, so is he planning to end his life or he planning to turn himself in which one i don't understand what exactly but anyway i'm reading exactly what he wrote he said i will gladly die by pain with uh, my life now and then another one he wrote he said i ruined my life at the age of 26 
oh my god i'm going crazy i want to die then he wrote another one i'm in so much pains i'm in so much pains i'm in so much pains i need help i need help i need help another one i can't face my family how did i do this to my only brother knowing he has no one but me you see now it's too late he has already done it he didn't think about his brother before he did it right i failed you wisdom please forgive me and uh, nobody else might truly know me i believe only you do and knows my heart please forgive your elder brother for putting i think i said for putting you through misery look at me now god another one he said i want no sympathy i want no pity i am truly down and broken from what has happened and i deserve nothing but death yes i truly do and i want to for her soul to rest in peace i will sort myself in i promise and she will get justice okay another one he wrote he said i uh, i'm deeply sorry and pained to the hard things resulted this way i never intended to take my beloved Oscar's life i love her so much i am in so much pain and have been suicidal it was a mistake and an accident as we got into a serious argument and fight which led to her carrying knives i not a bad person i'm not a criminal i'm not ritualist i'm not like all you said i have never killed in my life before and also my cousin wasn't aware in the first place and he might have run away out of fear what if i not i guess but was never an accomplice or knows anything for days i have been trying to kill myself i put you on conference with my uncle to break the news to you both at the same time about what happened but you never joined the call and i was dumbfounded to speak to only my uncle at that point and ended up turning off my phone and look for means to take my own life i has been suicidal since then i'm sorry for the pain i have caused you and i promise to turn myself in i have brought shame upon myself and my family and most especially have disappointed you who loved me and took me as your own son i'm ready to die too for the crime i have committed there no justification for death and i think i deserve one now i will pay with my life please forgive me mom cordelia i genuinely loved augusta and you please forgive me i will turn myself in i and pay with my life my beloved Oscar is gone and living here on earth now seems meaningless and of no use to me i wish i can reverse time but it's lost already and this is the last one okay and he says i have prayed and asked god to forgive me for this and will willingly die and take any punishment you and your family choose i want to do the right thing and give in as god has instructed after my prayer instead of running away i will give in cause deep down i know my heart is clean and nothing was intentional as there's no way i would put myself in such circumstances knowing i would be ruined in life i will call my people tomorrow and break the news to them too by myself then turn myself in please forgive me mom i have failed you and i have failed my own mom that gave birth to me please forgive me i will pay i'm not saying all this to escape death i'm in pains and the only thing i pray is you find a place in your heart to forgive me that's a lot of read but i wanted to actually say everything he said word for word the sad part is that he can't go back and change anything he can't and there's another story about ladies that stay with a guy that is uh, violent or guys that stay with ladies that is violent we cannot pretend it, oh, okay fine it's mostly the other way around but it does happen the other way around as well right when people stay for one reason or the other the guy get money they from what i to be honest i didn't know this couple I, did, I never knew them until this story right so from what they have been posting on social media they seem to be living a high life apparently this guy has been arrested before by efcc or something like that they were thinking he was a fraud star or something but maybe they never found any evidence i don't know i don't think there's actually a clear source of income i haven't seen any but maybe he has or whatever but anyways and uh, you know and all of those and um, people are looking at other relationships and see the glittery part they say these people travel around the world this guy is loaded they say the girlfriend is loaded too and they travel around the world they've had great times or whatever and let me tell you guys uh, this is how I, uh, what i believe you know there are ladies there's actually another video i was thinking i could join into this one but this one has gone too long i'll make it separate of a lady that the boyfriend is actually violent and she made the was it TikTok or whatever showing that you know he beats me but after he beats me it's like maybe he apologizes with expensive stuff frontal wigs and the latest phone and all of that i'm telling i don't believe for somebody to have 
gotten to the point where he ends another person's life i believe there was i believe i may be wrong there must be must have been a bit of toxicity he ever said it in that relationship and the lady stayed they continued and possibly it could have been violent before but not as bad as this before people don't have to wait till it gets to this because once life is gone you can't get it back that is people forget it oh are both from there this life is only once once you end this one this is not choir practice it is not a rehearsal it is not a you know what i mean this is it so you cannot say okay now okay you have killed me okay okay i'm going to come back she says you take me just now no do i gain no uh -huh. so no this is it you can't redo it you can't it's not a drama that you play and you make mistake and do no this is it when it ends it ends i saw that i wanted to share it for those that may be watching this and uh, are in toxic relationships and you know people that are in toxic violent relationships it's good to show pictures like this to remind them they are not trees you are not a tree move when you see signs of these things move because life no get duplicate anyways that's the story i don't know what my opinions are about this please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm gonna say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye